that the academic definition of, of this concept, what I'm trying to explain here, is called technological determinism versus social construction. What is this discussion about? Technological determinism versus the social construction of technology. Well, it, it says that technology itself is not inherently good nor bad. Technology doesn't have a predetermined outcome. So while maybe a few decades ago we would say the internet is a tool for freedom and to foster democracy, well, the oldest vision of the information or knowledge society actually comes from the year 1948 from a fiction author called George Orwell, which in, who in 1948 wrote a novel called 1984, where the big brother is watching you. That's where that comes from. And it was basically an informational dictatorship. So it said, well, if you have uh, observation, techno surveillance technology, you can build surveillance capitalism. He said it's a mix between governments and industries, which takes away all the privacy and basically, well, quite some foresight we know now, you know, several decades later. And so what is it now? Is the internet a tool for democracy or freedom or is the internet a tool for informational dictatorship? Well, the internet technology is neither good nor is it bad. Uh, technology does not have a predetermined outcome. Think about a more traditional technology, a hammer. Back when we were homo habilis, the handyman has started to distinguish ourselves from, from, from other animals because we started to use tools and we, if we wanted to protect ourselves from the elements or also wanted to go hunting in a more sophisticated way, we needed to use tools. Not that monkeys don't use you know, some sticks or hammers, but we really made a science out of it, an art out of it, using something akin to a hammer to build ourselves uh, something as, as akin to a shelter. Now, once you have something similar to a hammer, you can also do a lot of damage. You can really damage and hurt also others uh, of your peers with that. It's also a weapon. Now, that's not the fault of the hammer. A hammer is just a tool. And the internet is, is just the internet. Uh, so whenever somebody says that technology has or is, has a property, has something, then is something, then that is technological determinism. That means the technology determines the outcome. So if I say the internet is a tool for freedom, the internet is a tool for surveillance, then that would be technological determinism. And we need to reject technological determinism because it, it, it is not this or that. And, and if you read the newspaper, it's full of technological determinism. Also out of my mouth, it sometimes comes out. But technology doesn't actually have a property. Technology has agency. So the internet can be used as a tool for democracy and equality. The internet can be used by humans as a tool for surveillance and you know, the end of privacy. It can be used. So this is the social construction of technology. So it's, 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 it's very fine the reformulation, but we have to be careful because it does sneak in and it's a really false friend to assume that it's the fault of technology to do this, or to, to be this or, or, or that. There, there you see how fine the line is. Now, it's also not that easy because, you know, guns are technology that are made to shoot something, life, you know, to, to, to make life dead. Basically, that's what I mean. Why would you have a gun? or uh, bombs are made to blow stuff up, um, to destroy things. I mean, that's why you have bombs. Now, they can be used for useful things. I mean, if you want to build a road or, or, or you want to like, you have to get over the mountain. I mean, it's, it's, it's useful, but it's still like, it's still there to destroy things. So that's why they say technology is neither good nor bad, nor is it neutral. Whew, what a headache, right? So uh, it is true that Social construction of technology also says that it's not guns that kill things, it's humans 
that kill things with a gun. So that's also part of the social construction. So, but also the gun is made for, so, okay. So there's a, a fine line, but we won't go as deep into that. But what is really important to me here is that we humans understand that we have a responsibility in it. Uh, but that this responsibility is also a two-way road. To use the words of Marshall McLuhan, a communication scholar from, from my discipline, he is a tribute of saying, we shape our tools and then, our tools shape us. So be careful what you bring into this world and accept the responsibility that we need to align this technology. Be it a hammer, be it the internet, or be it generative AI. It's the same challenge of social construction of technology.